Um, a couple of things to note about this song, um, original versions of it. Uh, if you ever listen to the bootleg uh, demos that you'll find on the box set. If you don't have that, get that. Superb. You'll hear them do a kind of version of Waiting for the Man, which sounds almost like... <laughs> There is this earlier version I mentioned where what's happening is Lou is punctuating what he's saying with those moves. So it's like, waiting for the man. But when we hear it on the record, it's slightly more repetitive. More repetitive. So it sounds probably a little bit more like. He has this flick, so it's like a... I can't really do that justice. I mean, I have to say of all the things that Lou can do, he can do he does a very good flick. What is Sterling Morrison doing is the next question. So if you can imagine you take the shape of an A here, which is, and playing, if you must know, um, playing an E and a C sharp. But the other thing that's intriguing about it is that he's using a lot of the open strings. So he's just done this. And he's hit off the B string. thing really pay attention to is that when it goes uh, it's an A flat by the way or a G sharp he's always early he's never late no it's the other way around he's always late the bastard when it gets up to the air So if you want to find out what Luke John Cale is doing with his crazy bass, check out the other video. If you get any questions, comments, etc. I'm not very good at tabs. If anyone else can do tabs, that'd be great. Believe me, I have spent a good amount of time nerding about it and trying to figure out how to convey this uh, to anyone who's interested. Okay, thank you.